Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Odin's Movie Vlog. I am the critic who is a cynic. Hope you're doing well, and today we have finally got word, official word from Kelly Marie Tran about everything that's been going on with her recently, and oh my goodness, the media, the media's portrayal of what she has said is disgusting and sickening. The fact that they are trying to twist this, because that's what they're doing. They are trying to twist her words into something that it's actually not. Read any of the headlines and they all read just like this. Kelly Marine Tran speaks out against racist Star Wars fans with some powerful words. And that and that's what the main story is. And that and, and it's funny because it's not funny actually. You know, it's it pisses me off. Because there are people out there who's gonna read that headline, not even read the story and say, Oh, well, so she did get off social media because of a bunch of racists. Let's actually read what she has to say because there is a lot in there and there is a lot more to the story than just that damn headline. And to me, it is irresponsible and egregious and just disgusting the louts the, the the levels to which the media will go to try and spin a damn narrative that doesn't even exist it is absolutely disgusting that they will take a situation like this where someone who is obviously going through a very difficult time who is obviously going through a lot a lot a lot of really difficult things in her life they will try and turn that into, a, oh, look, it's a bunch of racist Star Wars fanboys, blah, 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 when, when you actually break things down, it tells a very different story. It's just like the situation with Jar Jar Binks. They tried to spin that. They try and spin that saying, oh, remember when the toxic fanboys attacked Jar Jar? When in reality, guess who it was? It was the media. It was the media who went after that actor. It was the media who went after Ahmed Best. And here we see a very similar story in a lot of ways. So once again, io9, you especially, shame on you. Shame on you and shame on anyone else who is running this garbage tier title that is not based in truth, that is not based in reality. So if you want to know exactly what she has said, I am going to go into it. And if it does not disgust you, if it does not show you just how bad media bias is in today's society, I don't know what else will. If this does not make you distrust the media, even more so than you already do, I don't know what else will, specifically within Star Wars news, because it, this is absolutely ridiculous what has happened in this situation. Ridiculous what has happened in the situation. And I said from the very beginning, I made a video and I got attacked for it from my own people. When I say my own people, I mean people in the Star Wars fandom, people in the Star Wars base, who said that, oh no, there's no proof, there's no proof, there's no proof that she got attacked and that's why she left. And it's true. There was none. She had not said anything up until that point as to why she had decided to leave social media. We finally now have words from her that according to these people, according to the media elites, is all about attacking the Star Wars fan base, all about attacking the racist Star Wars fans. Let's see what her words actually have to say. Let's hear from that person. Let's hear from Kelly Marie Tran herself, Rose Tico herself. And I'm, I'm going to be the first one to say, Kelly Marie Tran is a beautiful person. And I don't just mean that from a uh, aesthetic standpoint. I mean that everything that I have ever read, seen about her in interviews, tells me that she is a good-hearted person. I will never attack her personally. I will no, never go after her character in that way. And for those people who, who like to go after people in that way, you are disgusting. But the media, in this case, by twisting and skewing the words of this woman... I am disgusted. You could say, oh, you're just a virtually singling uh, SJW. Like, no, I'm sorry. I am disgusted because I hate when words are spoken, when words are given, taken out of context, and then spun. I see it too often. As someone who is a devout Catholic, I see Pope Francis' words taken out of context all the time. And guess what happens? Division is, 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 is instilled within my community, is instilled within the Catholic community. Why? Because the media trying to push this false narrative. And I'm so sick and tired of it. And now it's going even further into the Star Wars narrative. But let's actually see. Let us see what Kelly Marie Tran, her actual words have to say and what they actually mean. All right, let's start off with the Garbage Tier article, though. Earlier this year, Star Wars Last, act, uh, Last Jedi actress Kelly Marie Tran suddenly logged off the internet in what appeared to be in response to an outpouring of racist, sexist trolls who felt the need to voice their distaste for her existence within one of the most popular franchises in the world. Again, that's speculation. Were there probably a handful of people who were being racist and sexist? Sure. Again, I'm attacked on a daily basis too by a bunch of idiots. It happens. It happens to everybody. If you are on the internet, if you have a public persona, even if you're as small as me, you get attacked. 
you get attacked. So they try to run with this narrative. They try and say, oh, she left social media because the Star Wars fandom is so toxic. That is the narrative that they ran with. Look up the articles. They're still there. That is the, that is the narrative that they ran with. Even though they had no evidence, even though Kelly Mertran had not spoken on anything at that point, they still ran with it. Today, the actress decided to pen an open letter explaining her feelings on the matter and what she said was pretty great. Yeah, a lot better than the garbage that you're putting out. A hell of a lot better than the garbage that you're putting out. Tran opened up today in a powerful piece in the New York Times expressing that she's here to stay regardless of what the garbage fiction of Star Wars fandom has to say about her and her character Rose Tico. And she plans to continue fighting for everyone to see them throwing themselves on screen. Even though Tran, like so many other people of color who grow up in societies that make them out to be lesser than their white counterparts, at one point let the harassment get to her. She found strength in owning up her identity, including revealing in a piece that her, her, um, that her real name is Loan. Or Loanne. Now... <laughs> There's already so much to unpack in there already. Does racism exist? Yes. Stop trying to act like it's this incredibly huge thing that exists. I'm sorry, it doesn't. I know enough people, diverse people of various backgrounds who've backed me up on this. Because at the end of the day, when it comes to this situation specifically, if you have an online presence, social media presence, I'm sorry, you're gonna get attacked. Now, is that right? No. And I've been talking about that constantly. Human nature is inherently flawed. There are some people out there who are disgusting human persons who need a lot of help, both uh, psychologically and, and, and physically probably. But what you're trying to do here is you're trying to take the words of a woman who's trying to express herself, and beautifully so, and twist them into something that they're not. Let's, read, let's actually read what she has to say. She says, as much as I hate to admit it, I started blaming myself. I thought, oh, maybe if I was thinner, or maybe if I grow out my hair, and worst of all, maybe if I wasn't Asian. For months, I went down a spiral of self-hate into the darkest recesses of my mind, places where I tore myself apart, where I put their words above my own self-worth. And it was then that I realized I had been lied to. I had been brainwashed into believing that my existence was limited to the boundaries of another person's approval. I had been tricked into thinking that my body was not my own, that I was beautiful only if someone else believed it regardless of my own opinion. I had been told and retold this by everyone, by the media, by Hollywood, and by companies that profited from my insecurities manipulating me so that I would buy their clothes, their makeup, their shoes, in order to fill a void that was perpetuated by them in the first place. Did the person, did the person who wrote this article even read that? Who is she calling out there? By the media, by Hollywood, by companies that profited from my insecurities. Just like Ahmed Best, guess who is getting called out here? The media, Hollywood. Because that is where the toxicity actually is. That is where the disgusting people, the disgusting mindsets exist. Are there maybe a few disgusting people online, trolling people on a daily basis? Absolutely. But what she's talking about here, and this is something that we've heard constantly from other people. Again, Ahmed Best is another great example of that. It is not from the, oh, oh, oh my goodness, this is this is poop positive. She left, she left Instagram because she was being attacked by a bunch of racists, and that's the reason why she left. No. What she realized is that the people she puts herself around, the media, Hollywood, they're the ones that skew the information. They're the ones that skew reality to their liking because guess what? They profit off of division. They profit off of hate. They profit off of all of this garbage. And that is what she is pointing out. And that I give kudos to you, Kelly Marie Tran. I am so sorry that you have ever felt this way, that anyone would ever, felt that, ever, feel, would ever feel this way, that anyone would ever be manipulated in this way. And it truly disgusts me. Every single time I see news reports covering various events, I am disgusted by how they treat other people. And it is no surprise here that it's not the Star Wars fans. It's not the Ahmed Best and the Kelly Marie Trans who are being pushed off by the fans. No. But just like in that situation with Ahmed Best, just like it is here, coming from her, it is because of the media and Hollywood who twist the narrative, who twist what it means to be a real 
person who twist what it means to be important, who tear down anyone's sense of self-worth. And I see this too as a teacher. I see so many people tear down their own self-worth because they cannot be what the media presents as being the best, as being normal, as being awesome. We see it in Hollywood too. We see it in, in our movies, especially. So that is what she is calling out here. And I give Total kudos to her for calling that nonsense out. So to whoever keeps making these crap headlines that are not true, that she's somehow responding and attacking the Star Wars fan base. No, no, she's not. She's calling out the people who are actually responsible for most of this nonsense, Hollywood and the media. And you know what, YouTube? I know what you're going to do. You're going to demonetize my video because of what I'm saying. Maybe it's because of the tone in which I'm saying it. Maybe I'm not advertiser friendly, but you know what? I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking my heart. I'm speaking the truth. And the fact that you have people like those, <laughs> those knuckleheads over at the Young Turks who you pay as a channel on your YouTube TV service, and yet they're okay, they can stay monetized, you will pay them to spew their hate? Shame on you. Shame on you. And shame on anyone that's ever done this to another person. Let's continue. The shame Tram says she once felt about the things people said about her has been replaced with a more than justified disappointment in the public and seemingly a renewed a renewed resolve to show the world more than one, one story. The public. The media, Hollywood, and companies. Oh, but that, that's the public in the eye of the media. They see media and they say, oh, not us, though. They're, oh, they're not talking about us. They're, they're, talking about, they're talking about somebody else. They're talking about the public. They're talking about the racist fanboys. That's who, that's who she's talking about. No. She's calling you out. She's calling you out. Yes, I have been lied to. We all have. And it was in this realization that I felt a different shame. Not a shame for who I was, but a shame for the world I grew up in. And a shame for how that world treats anyone who is different. I am not the first person to have grown up this way. This is what it is to grow up as a person of color in a white-dominated world. Now, of course, this is where I have to disagree. This is where I have to try and, you know, obviously respect her still for calling people out. But also, obviously, I think that this is coming from, you know, a political place. A white dominated world. This is what it is to be a woman in a society that is taught that it's daughters that are worthy of love only if they are deemed attractive by its sons. This is the world I grew up on, but not the world I want to leave behind. And again, there is truth in that. There is truth in that, but that's because of the culture. That's because of the media, Hollywood. Again, the people that she was calling out, why people think that you are somehow less than, you have less worth if you don't fit up to these specific standards. Now, again, as far as the whole, you know, white dominations thing, that obviously I think is is uh, misguided. Obviously, I think that it's it's something where I think that she's trying to get a point across, but she's not really getting it across to me uh, in the right way. But absolutely for sure, everything else that she's been saying so far has been spot on. I want to live in a world where children of color don't spend their entire adolescence wishing to be white. I want to live in a world where women are not subjected to scrutiny for their appearance or their actions or their general existence. I want to live in a world where people of all races, religions, socioeconomic classes, sexual orientations, gender identities, and abilities are seen as what they are, human beings. This is the world I want to live in, and this is the world that I will continue to work towards. And obviously, there is a lot that I can say, especially as a teacher of theology, about the things that you said. But the one thing that I can easily agree with, that I can easily sign off on, and also, once again, I have to point out, where in the hell in this did she ever call out anyone on Instagram? Where did she say, this is why I left Instagram? She is making a commentary on the world, on the media, and specifically on Hollywood. Because guess who controls the narrative? Guess who has the most influence on a society? Hollywood and the media. So she is calling out the right people. But guess what the media is doing? And this is what Kelly Marie Tran and other people like her need to do, is they need to come out in the forefront and say, stop. Stop twisting my words to mean something that they don't. You, io9, are part of the problem. You, whatever website is saying, oh, he, oh she confirms attacks on Star Wars fans. No. They are the ones who she is calling out, who are responsible, because I agree with this last statement completely. No matter who you are, you must always be seen as a human being. 
as creatures of God, we all have human dignity and we all must be treated as such, no matter what our background might be. That is a true statement. That is a beautiful statement. And that is what I want everyone to come away with actually reading her words. Don't get caught up on the minutia of some of the things she said that you might not agree with. If it's as far as from uh, the, the concepts of white domination, et cetera, because obviously we know, we know that that is, that is a, uh, that is a narrative that exists in our world. Instead, focus on those last words. One, especially focus on the fact that she is not calling out fans. She is not calling out racist fans who drove her off Instagram. She's instead calling out Hollywood and the media, placing the blame where it should be, and then calling for something truly beautiful that we should view every person, no matter who or what they are, as a person, as a human being worthy of love and worthy of dignity. I can fully support that. But I will not support this garbage media spin that's being put on her words here because it is truly disgusting to me. This is the world I want to live in, and this is the world I will continue to work towards, and I will continue to work through it as well. Even though trans absence from the web is a negative, uh, is not is a net negative for the Star Wars fandom that would benefit from seeing one of the fresh faces breathing new life in the franchise. Her taking the voice to time, uh, time to address how she's been received is nonetheless important by the media and by Hollywood. You do realize that she's calling you out, right? Voices like hers are an integral part of letting people know we live in an age where the heroes in our stories are beginning to look and sound like, <laughs> like the everyone. How about instead of twisting words, how about instead of twisting the narrative, you focus more on your editing? How about that? I don't like to nitpick like that, but if you're going to be just total garbage tier, I'm going to call you out. So anyway, guys, what are y'all's thoughts on this? What are y'all's thoughts on the actual words that Kelly Marie, Kelly Marie and Tran spoke? What, are the, what do you think of what she has actually stated? Especially this part right here once again. I have been told and retold this by everyone, these lies, by the media, by Hollywood, by companies that profited from my insecurities, manipulating me so that I would buy their clothes, makeup, shoes in order to fill a void that was perpetuated by them in the first place. That is where our attention needs to be as a society. And that is who she is calling out. Anyway, guys, please let me know your thoughts on this. And also, guys, share that message. Share that last message that she leaves us with where she says that what we want to do, what all of us should want to do, is we should try and call each other out, or rather we should all try and call each other as human persons. Recognize and see in each other that we are all human beings worthy of love and dignity, while at the same time giving the huge middle finger to the media for this nonsense of them trying to spin this beautiful story, this beautiful message especially at the very end into something political and something that doesn't even is not even based in a reality so anyway guys thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe share this video as well get the word out there get the word out there that the media is once again taking something good taking something that should be beautiful and spinning it into something else get the word out there guys even if you don't share my video post her interview post her words because we need to go to the source. We need to go to what was actually said in order to get the truth because you know what? We can't rely on the media anymore because the media is going to lie at us at every single second of the day. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day and as always, God bless. I love you guys.